Okay, let's take a document that we want to use with AI and format it so that it's clean and AI is ready to work with it. So you're just looking at an empty note here in this prompt management app that I built, but this would we're, what, what we're going to do here could be done on any document management tool like Google Docs or Microsoft Word if you keep your prompts in there or you want to design your prompts in there or just straight into like a AI interface like ChatGPT or anything like that. So this is what we're going to be doing. So here I'm going to open this expository scoring guide and this is just from a prompt that I built earlier and what this is is this is the state of Texas assessments of academic readiness which is this educational test that public school students have to take. This is this scoring guide uh, from a, a year a couple years ago. And so what we want to do here is take the scoring guide and make it ready for use with AI so that we can integrate it into a prompt. Now, what we're going to do here skills wise can be applied to many different types of documents and information. It could be applied to information about your company or you or a client or a situation or an article or pretty much anything that's text based. All right, so what we're going to do here, let's just do this section right here. And I'll show you how we're going to use markdown delimiters and definitions here in structuring this content. All right, so what I'm gonna do here to start with is just paste in the raw text. So right now we have this text without any formatting, which is how AI models need text. It, AI models don't support formatted text when you're using large language models by default, basically. So we've just got this raw text. So how can we make this text formatted in a way that AI is ready to use it? Well, I find often that what you wanna do here is tell the AI that you're going to give it some information. And a good way to think about this is you're creating a boundary around some information, and we're gonna do that with delimiters. So something like this. So let me just go through what I'm doing here a little bit. So I'm saying in between the guide tags, you're gonna find information about a scoring guide. And hereafter, this is the guide with a capital G. By saying hereafter the guide, the things that we put inside the guide tags will be able to be referenced throughout our prompt by just saying the guide with a capital G. So then what we're gonna do here is open our delimiter like this, and then I'm just gonna go ahead to the bottom of this and I'm going to just close the tag by doing backslash and then guide. All right, so basically anything that is in between these tags is going to be the guide with a capital G that we can use throughout our prompt. All right, so this is actually the title of the guide. So now we're going to start using some markdown to give our information some hierarchy. So with Markdown, we do one hashtag to represent the biggest title, or like title one, and then we would do two hashtags to indicate title two, or like the second biggest title. So something like that, like score point one. And what I wanna do here is just go back and make sure that I'm mirroring what is going on here with the actual score scoring guide. So yes, here's the title. And then basically what we do here is we have this subtitle and then we have these sections which are like sub subtitles. So these are like the third section down of this guide. So let's go and create that with Markdown. So this part here where it says the essay represents a very limited writing performance, you see that this is basically 
describing what score point one means. So this is basically like body text that's associated with score point one. And then this organization progression thing, this is a new section right here. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is a subsection of score point one. And then each of these are different bullet points, basically. So we'll just go ahead and make those all bullet points like that. All right, and I'm just gonna double check that we have three bullet points. One, two, three. Make sure that that mirrors what we have here. Yes, one, two, three. All right, great. So what we've done by adding three hashtags to this organization progression sub subtitle is we are in between our scoring guide tags saying that here's the title and here's one subsection and then here's a sub subsection so basically what we're saying is that this is how you know how to score the organization and progression of something that is score point one and I'll show you a full version of this so that you can see how this looks so I'll just navigate over here to the full prompt great so here's how this is done in practice you're going I did the exact same thing when I built this out for some teachers and I called this scoring guide instead of guide but I took this entire expository scoring guide which I found is just public information and then I just structured it here going down and just basically converted it from this PDF into something that's usable for a prompt and I'll show you through a real-life example how I use this scoring guide capital S capital G so you'll notice down here in the output section of the prompt where we get to the bottom and I basically say hey okay so the student submitted an essay etc so you're gonna see here I say I want you to help me grade the essay this is referring to the essay that's above in the prompt according to the scoring guide so now what I'm telling the AI model is that you're going to use the scoring guide again which is inside our tags so it knows where to look to grade the essay and here is where the teachers put the essay so that's an example of using delimiters definitions and markdown to convert something like this that is not a very useful piece of context because it's a PDF and it's not organized in a way that AI can work with it and converting it in to something that is usable by an AI model using the skills that you now know about which are these delimiters the definitions and the markdown.